Hello, it's Sarah. I'm back today with part one of a many part series, I think, to create these little art dolls. I did these for Christmas, and I don't have a date. I want to see, this was probably pre-pandemic. Um, I actually did these on my YouTube channel, so you might not need to watch this at all and just go back and watch the previous videos. But I'm going to be making another one, a couple more. And so I figured I'd just film it and you guys can watch. So um, you're going to need a few things. This is such a cute project because it really combines a lot of my loves. Um, there's assemblage, first of all. We're assembling this into a little thing. Uh, there's some paint. There's some beading. Um, you know, there's glitter, glitter and sparkle, and there's paper. So I... I cover the wood with paper and felt for the hair um, a little bit of uh, enameling on the edges so there's a little bit of everything in here so it's a really fun project so let me take you through some of the supplies you're gonna need I'll just lay this down here um, wood a little piece of wood now that being said you can make this any size you want um, I wasn't able to get them today because Michael's didn't have them. I don't know why. Michael's has changed, you guys, from when I used to go there all the time. But I'm just pulling from my own stash. Um, you're going to need wood for the head and the body. And this is a disc. I ended up gluing two of them together because I thought it was, like, thicker for this. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that this time. I might try it with just one and see how it goes. Um, but you're going to need, and that, I think that size, I think it's a um, one, and an, one and a half inch. Um, I'm just showing you what I have in my stash. I have these, which are very cool. They're actually domed on one side. They're flat on one side and domed on the other. So if you glued two of those together, it kind of makes it a little more dimensional. I don't know. But that being said, you have to be able to screw in um, an eye pin or I'm just going to glue them in for the neck. So you just have to be careful that you wouldn't pry apart the, um, the discs afterward. Um, and I'll address each of these things specifically as we get to them. Um, wings, if you want to make an angel, you're going to need wings. Now, that being said, I've used all different types of wings. I have these other art dolls that I was making, and I was going to use these dragonfly wings that I found at, I think, Hobby Lobby. So I, I never finished, but I just thought, how cute she, she, she could be a little dragonfly. Um, but these specific wings I found at, um, these were from Joann's. And they're, they're actually like a fabric. They're, they're just plasticky. They're not fabric. They're kind of plastic, I guess. So I'm going to end up just gluing them to the back of here. I've used metal, wood, all different stuff. Um, so just pull whatever you have in your stash. Like I have tons of wood ones, but I really wanted to use these. So you got your wood, your wings. You're going to need wire for the arms and legs. And I'm just going to use this. I don't even know what gauge it is, but I like to find wire that's like pliable. And this is kind of thick. Um, I have this, which is a 20 gauge. So this is probably, I bet you this is 20 gauge too. So I pulled silver and like a bronze because I'm not sure um, what color I'll use. Um, like I gave her a silver halo, so I used silver metal, probably. I mean, I do um, try to do that, but look what I found at Michael's today. These pipe cleaners, which are, um, let me cut this open. They're considered, it says chenille stems. That's just a pipe cleaner, but I'm just trying to see if it has a color. Because it just, they're white, but they're like, uh, kind of like that, the color of the wings. So I think I'm going to use one of these for my uh, halo this time. They're a little bit different than the silver and gold. They're a little thicker. So we'll see what it looks like, you know. I'm just going to see, and I kind of like it, though. I think for, for this theme, it's going to be good. Um, what else did I want to tell you? Um, beads. Now, I don't have them out on my desk, 
but yes you will need beads to make the arms and the legs that being said you could braid some um, maybe cording that you have from making um, what is it called macrame or um, you know use what you have you could cord some leather together make braids out of leather and just attach them um, and I am using head pins to do that I'm gonna use I'm sorry eye pins so I'll show you how I connected the eye pins to the piece and then we'll use jump rings to attach the arms and the legs so a jump ring is the type of uh, ring that has a split in it. They're also called split rings and you can open them up and then close them back up. So you might need some beading bead stuff once we get there. We're not there yet. Um, also some felt and I also found this piece of felt today. I had this, I have lots of colors. I have dark brown. This one's even done with like a gray. Um, so you can make your hair and your skin tone, whatever skin tone you want to make it. Um, I'll do the face with you and all that. Um, but what was I going to say? I found this color today. See, like this is like a really blonde blonde. Like a, because she is going to be angels again. It depends. You can, it's, it's like a, we've never seen an angel, so we don't know what they look like. So you can make her any way you want. You know, whatever color hair or whatever you want, skin tone, um, but this I thought was kind of a neat color, kind of a blonde. I thought this was more of a blonde color. Um, so I picked that up because the person I am making it for is a blonde. This is, I mean, it's what I used over here. It looks fine. It's like a brown, a honey brown. Anyway, um, use what you have. The felt was like 33 cents. It's the cheapest thing I have. Um, and then to embellish her, you're going to think of a theme and I was going with the Valentine's theme at first, but, you know, so I started to pull things and what I call it is auditioning. i um, just checking, making sure my, I'm still recording. My camera, I'm getting, it's getting old and the, the plug keeps coming out and it's not staying charged. But anyway, so what you need to do is pull some trims and some different things that have to do with your, um, your theme so like for this one this one was kind of like a boho so it's pearls and lace and I've got this kind of twiny looking trim on the outside um, super cute um, these are obviously were Christmas so I used Christmas paper um, I used on this one I used uh, I just used a red paper in the background and all different types of snowflakes put a white bow a couple of um, flowers in her hair things like that little trims that you know it's just fun to pull it all out and kind of see what you want to do um, so I've done that but like I said I was kind of going with a, um, a Valentine's theme so I have this little heart trim uh, what else did I have I had this to put along the bottom I'm still like, staying with this iridescent type feel um, what else? Um, I had, I pulled these little beads too. So I have some bling here. Maybe I'll put that at the top. Um, I can't find my bling trims. Like I have bling trims and I don't know where they are. It's really bugging me. Um, but that being said, I do have other fabric. Like these, this pom-pom one, I really wanted to see. Like maybe I'll do her more celestial and I'll do the other one a little more boho with these pom-poms. Um, you know, there's like fringe, all different things. So pull it all together, gather up what you have, hit me up in the question, in the um, comments if you, oh, and the other thing, if you have any questions, um, let me know. And um, this is what I was going to show you. I don't remember where I got these. But look, I could paint these. So I could paint the glasses white. Or this is the ones I was going to use for her. She's, I can't pick them up. She's so adorable. OMG, look how stinking cute. Um, so anyway, have fun with it. You can even make your own glasses. Um, so, like I had these hearts. Uh, one tip I would say 
would be use a soft wood if you can and um, this is from Michaels and it is pine I'm going to be using an awl and this is what I'm using it's by Tolan station it's just like a pointy thing and I mean you can use whatever but I'm just going to use it to push a hole into the wood so that I can insert the head pin to hook all the pieces onto it. So I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. I'm going to do it after I paint everything, so I'll do it on this one. See, I already put one in the neck. And then you're going to want two for the legs and one for each uh, foot. So, I'm um, shoulder, um, arm. So, that is it. I am going to go away and get out specifically what I'll be using. Um, and we'll do it together. Look at this. See, I, w I found these and I haven't used them. I think I got these at um, Hobby Lobby. I could do the coffee for mine. I could make a coffee angel. Come on. This is so cute. Um, these are stickers. They're like metal stickers. I'm really cute. I might go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow. Um, all right. So I'm excited. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.